sex in course 2, lesson 43, converting decimals to fractions, fractions to decimals, and percents to decimals. So here it wants me to write 0 0.125 as a fraction. So the digits, 1.125, these tell me what the number that will be in the numerator of my fraction. So the numerator is going to have 125. Now my denominator is going to be the place value of the last digit. So the place value of the 5, and it is in the thousandths place. So it's going to be 125 over 1,000. 125 thousandths. I would then reduce that to 1 eighth. Okay. So next one, Mathia rode her bike 11.45 miles to the lake. Write it as a mixed number. So my whole number is going to be the 11, and then I have that 0.45. So the 45 will be in the numerator, and then the denominator is the place value of the 5, which is the hundredths place. So it's going to be 45 over 100. Now I reduce those fractions, and just to remind you, you can do that by dividing by a number. So I'm going to divide both top and bottom by 5. That's going to equal 11 and 9 twentieths. Okay. When we're converting fractions to decimals like we are in this one, it's a little bit different. So it wants to find the probability of the spinner stopping on 5 and then express it as a, as a decimal number. So since all the sections are the same, the probability of landing on 5 will be 1 out of 5, 1 fifth. The way to convert this to a decimal is by dividing 1 divided by 5. This fraction bar here means divide. So I'm going to do 1 divided by 5. 5 goes into 1 zero times, so I'm going to add a decimal and a zero. 5 goes into 10 two times, which is 10. So I'm finished. So the decimal is 0 0.2. And it wants me to write each of these as a decimal number. For A, since 23 over 100, it's already over a hundredth. That means I can just put it in the hundredths place. So this is going to equal 0 0.23, because that 3 is in the hundredths place. Okay. For B, 7 fourths, this is going to be greater than 1, so I'm going to still divide 7 divided by 4. Okay, and I'm going to add a decimal and a couple zeros. 4 goes into 7 once, that's 4. Subtract 3, bring down the 0. 4 goes into 30 7 times, that's 28. Don't forget your decimal. Okay, that's 2 left over. I'm going to bring it over here. 2 left over, bring down the 0. 4 goes into 20 5 times, which is 20. Okay. So my answer for this one is 1.75. Okay. Now for C, it's written in a mixed number, so 3 and 4 fifths. So change that to a decimal. I already know that the 3 is going to be in the whole numbers place, so it's going to be 3 point something. So I'm going to go ahead and divide the 4 fifths to figure out what my decimal will be. Okay. So we have 4 divided by 5. Four goes, 5 goes into 4 zero times. Decimal goes straight up. 5 goes into 40 eight times, which is 40. Okay. So my answer is going to be 3.8 for C. On D, we have 2 divided by 3, or 2 thirds. So we're going to do 2 divided by 3. Some decimals and some zeros. 3 go, can't go into 2. 3 goes into 20 6 times. That's 18. Subtract 2, bring down the 0. I have 20 again, so that means it's going to be 6 times, 18. 2 and bring down the 0 again. This is going to continue forever. So my answer is going to be 0 
and I put the bar over it to show that the number that the six will continue to repeat. All right, now we're going to do writing percents as decimal numbers. So remember, percent means per hundred. Okay, so if I have 25 percent per hundred, that means it's going to be 25 per, which is my division line, hundred, okay? which I would reduce down to one fourth. Okay, so that'd be A. Okay, for B, 125%. Oh, I'm supposed to write each as a decimal, so sorry. We had 25 over 100, and then that as a decimal would have been 0 0.25. So that was A. Okay, for B, we will have 125%, which is equal to 125 over 100, okay, which is equal to 1.25 if you divided it. Okay. Another way to do this is to just shift the decimal point. So if I have for C 2.5% it's going to equal 2.5 divided by 100. When we divide by 100, the decimal place moves to the left twice, because I have two zeros. So if I move that decimal place over to the left twice, at 2.5, I'd go 1, 2, add a 0. So my answer would be 0 0.025. That's the quick way to do it instead of dividing a fraction. So for D, 50% is going to be equal 50 divided by 100, which means we move the decimal place to the left two places, so it's going to be 0.5. For E, 7 and 1 half percent, okay, that's the same as 7.5 percent, because we want in a decimal. And then I'm going to move the decimal point two places to the right, or to the left, I mean, 1, 2, okay, so it's equal to 0 0.075. So we just shift the decimal place two places to the left. So for the last one, we have 300%. Okay, So we're going to take that 300, put the decimal at the end, and move it two places to the left. One, two. So it's going to be 3.00. But as you remember, we don't need those extra zeros at the end. So I can go ahead and re erase them. And that's it for this lesson.